Welcome to a three-player game of Commander featuring Rob playing his Alyssa the Traitor deck, Ronnie playing my Azami Lady of Scrolls deck, and Kyle playing my Child of Alara deck. Rob wins the die roll and keeps an opening hand of Navenral's Disc, Liliana of the Dark Realms, Soren's Vengeance, Demonic Tutor, Rupture Spire, Urborg Tomb of Yagmoth, and Swamp. Ronnie goes next and keeps an opening hand of Lighthouse Chronologist, Teferi, Sea Scryer, Fate Spinner, and Three Islands. Kyle goes next and keeps an opening hand of Hinder, Explore, Ray of Revelation, Marsh Flats, Forlath Stronghold, Keswick Wolf Run, and Savannah. Rob draws a Vidalcan Orrery and plays a Swamp as his land for the turn. He then passes. Ronnie draws a Pongify and lays down an island as his land for the turn. He then passes. Kyle draws Sylvan Scrying and plays Marsh Flats as his land for the turn. Before he passes, he sacrifices the Marsh Flats, paying one life to search the library for an underground sea and putting it onto the battlefield. He passes. Rob draws Planner Portal and sets down Rupture Spire tapped, paying one mana. He passes the turn. Ronnie draws Rain, Academy Chancellor, and plays an island for the turn. He taps two mana and plays Sea Scryer. He then passes. Kyle draws Hallowed Fountain and plays Explore, drawing Essence Scatter, and then plays Hollow Fountain as his second land for the turn. He then passes. Rob untaps, draws Cultivate, plays Urborg, and then taps three mana to cast Cultivate, searching for two forests, putting one into his hand and one onto the battlefield tapped. He passes the turn. Ronnie untaps, draws Trinket Mage. He plays Island, then casts the Trinket Mage that he just drew, searching for Sol Ring and putting it into his hand. He casts Sol Ring and passes the turn. Kyle untaps, draws Bloodstained Mire and sets it down as his land for the turn. Kyle taps two mana and casts Sylvan Scrying, searching for Taiga and putting it into his hand. As he is searching, he also sacrifices Bloodstained Mire, paying one life and finding a Volcanic Island and putting it onto the battlefield. He then passes. Rob untaps, draws Cabal Coffers, and plays it as his land for the turn. He then pays two mana and taps the Cabal Coffers to add five black mana to his mana pool, which he uses to cast a Liliana of the Dark Realms, leaving one black mana up. He then uses Liliana's ability to search for a swamp and put it into his hand. Rob then casts Glissa the Traitor from his command zone with his remaining mana and passes the turn. But before the end of Rob's turn, Kyle decides to essence scatter Glissa for good measure. Rob sets Glissa back in his command zone. Ronnie untaps, draws and plays an island. He then goes to combat, attacking Rob's Liliana and removing two loyalties. With Teferi in hand, Ronnie passes the turn. Kyle untaps, draws and plays Tundra, and then passes. Rob untaps, draws and plays Forest, then, using the Cabal Coffers, plays Novenral's Disc, leaving two manas up which he uses to play Demonic Tutor, getting a swamp from Liliana while he is there. Tutor finds Soren Markov. Rob then passes the turn, but at the end of Rob's turn, Ronnie flashes into Fairy, Mage of Jalfur. No one has any responses, not even the control player who is currently holding a hinder in hand and every one of his lands open. Ronnie untaps, draws Misdirection, and then passes the turn. Kyle draws Ancestral Vision, plays a Taiga, then suspends the Ancestral Vision. In response, Ronnie casts a zombie, then taps Trinket Mage to draw a card. He then taps Teferi to draw another card. Ronnie then passes priority back to Kyle, who then passes the turn. Rob untaps, draws Wayfarer's Bobble, and plays Forest as his land. He taps Cabal Coffers for 7 manas for Wayfarer's Bobble which he sacrifices for a forest, as he ups the Liana to find himself another swamp. He passes the turn. Ronnie untaps and draws and plays Island. 
Ronnie then taps three wizards to draw three cards. He then goes to his discard step and discards five cards. Kyle untaps, draws Island, plays Kessig Wolf Run, then removes the time counter from his ancestral vision. He passes the turn. Rob untaps, draws Swamp, plays said Swamp, and pluses Liliana for another Swamp. Rob coffers for 9, which he uses to cast Planner Portal. When it resolves, Rob taps another 3 manas in addition to the 3 he had up to activate Planner Portal to search up Mindslaver. He passes the turn. But at the end of Rob's turn, Ronnie taps Seascryer to draw a card. Ronnie untaps, draws Forbid, and plays Island. He passes the turn, discarding Pongify at the end of his turn. Kyle removes a time counter from his suspended card, draws Erin Mesa, and plays Volrath Stronghold as his land. He then casts Child from his command zone, which Ronnie forbids, discarding two cards to buy back the Forbid. Kyle passes. Rob untaps, draws Terramorphic Expanse, and plays Swamp from hand. Rob pluses Liliana for another Swamp, and taps Coffers for 10 and Planner Portals for Forbidden Orchard. With his leftovers, Rob casts Mindslaver, which promptly draws a Forbid from Ronnie's hand. With 5 manas left over, Rob taps out to recast Galissa. Rob passes the turn. Before going to his turn, Ronnie casts Stern Proctor to bounce Rob's disc. Having no open mana, Rob is unable to activate the disc in response. Rob picks up the disc and has to discard down to 7. Ronnie taps 4 wizards and draws 4 cards. Ronnie then takes his turn, untapping and drawing a seat of the Synod. He plays an island as his land for the turn. Ronnie casts a Lighthouse Chronologist, then has enough mana to level it up 7 times, making it fully active. Ronnie then passes the turn. At the end of Ronnie's turn, Kyle taps two manas, and thanks to Rob's Urborg, is able to put Child of Alara back on top of his library using his Vorlaz Stronghold. Kyle then untaps, removes a time counter from his Ancestral Vision, and draws his commander. Kyle then attempts to recast the child, but in response, Ronnie taps five wizards and draws that many cards. Ronnie then casts Force of Will for free, by paying one life and exiling Phyrexian Metamorph, countering Kyle's commander. Kyle then plays and uses a sack land, paying one life to find Scrubland and putting it onto the battlefield. Before his turn ends, Kyle contemplates conceding in order to fizzle the Chronologist's effect, passing the turn to Rob. After a moment, Kyle decides to fight it out, passing the turn to Ronnie. Ronnie untaps, draws and plays Reliquary Tower. He then taps Soul Ring and 4 manas to cast Cage Sun, naming Blue. Ronnie then attacks Liliana with Trinket Mage and Stern Proctor. Rob blocks the Trinket Mage with Galissa, killing it, and returning Mind Slaver to Rob's hand due to Galissa's ability. Rob then removes two loyalties from Liliana due to the Stern Proctor attack. Ronnie passes the turn. Rob untaps, draws Shimmering Grotto, and plays Forbidden Orchard. Rob taps Cabal Coffers for a crap load of mana and recasts the Mind Slaver. Pretty sure he is going to target him with it, Ronnie decides to negate the Mind Slaver. Rob pluses the Liana and Planner Portal while he's there, finding Dregs of Sorrow. Rob then taps 7 manas, casting Dregs of Sorrow, targeting Teferi and Izami. In response, Ronnie taps and draws 4 cards. He then memory lapses Dregs. Rob passes the turn. Ronnie takes his post Rob's turn turn off the Chronologist, untapping and drawing Spell Crumple. Ronnie plays Island from his hand. Ronnie then casts Time Stretch, targeting himself. In response, Kyle taps Brolath Stronghold and puts Child back on top of his library. He then concedes. Rob decides to stick it out, and Ronnie continues his shenanigans. Ronnie taps 5 wizards and draws some cards. Ronnie casts Venser and bounces Liliana back to Rob's hand. 
Ronnie casts Fallow Sage, then taps it to draw two cards. Ronnie then ends the Rob extra turn and takes the first of his Time Stretch extra turns, having not even taken his regular turn yet. Ronnie untaps, draws Graceful Adepts, and then begins a process of drawing lots of wizards and using a zombie to draw with them into more wizards, and then also tapping those wizards for more cards. Ronnie does this until he draws Laboratory Maniac. We conclude that Ronnie has the ability to draw out the rest of his library and win using Laboratory Maniac's ability, claiming yet another game for his zombie.